Freedom House is the story of classic American story of the underdog thriving under adverse conditions and one of the big things that made that possible was education um, education and life-saving techniques that changed the way healthcare is delivered in this country it started in, in inner city Pittsburgh in the 60s and what we tried to do here um, Gene Starzynski and myself is uh, revive that spirit and bring CPR training um, to inner city Albany New York and to show a group of young men um, the documentary on Freedom House and uh, an important piece of black history and hopefully that would inspire them um, to want to learn new life-saving skills CPR and go forward um, so this is our attempt to do that and some highlights from our training sessions The way you would treat them is you ask them questions, but you don't touch any seriously injured areas. All right? Okay? Your neck injury, what do you want to do? Did you read that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You this one is, a, is kind of a modified CPR. I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm I got Ching Fung Kwan. Um, I like Freedom House. Uh, it was really interesting and cool to learn about all the different uh, services that were given to the black community. Uh, the DVD of Freedom House was uh, very interesting and uh, um, inspiring in that the first um, people to ride ambulances were African Americans. And just seeing what it came from to what it evolved to be now nowadays is just mind blowing uh, beyond comparison to a lot of things. Um, you know, coming from the first ambulance service was being uh, from the regular police department or even the coroners, which probably looked at people as uh, money laying on the ground when they showed up to sites to train these people uh, in these. Uh, neighborhoods that were uh, less educated, uh, poverty stricken areas to be trained professionals and <clears throat> taught a skill that could be applied uh, throughout the day-to-day -day life and in their professional field. It was kind of sad what happened to them eventually, but uh, it was great just to see what, it is, what, what took place to what it is nowadays where uh, it's de dependent on uh, worldwide. Uh, it's uh, something that took off from a little city, a little urban neighborhood in uh, Pennsylvania to something worldwide. Uh, I think it's great.